Hello everyone, sorry I was getting some stuff done if you were waiting for like 14 seconds. Um, so uh, yeah, I tried doing, so. this is Matt with Roguish by the way, I tried doing some uh, some stuff on Fallout 4 a couple weeks ago, but the live streams weren't great, so I just decided to go ahead and do Far Harbor just as its own. Let's play just because a lot of people already does or already do uh you know they they have done Fallout 4 Let's Plays um so let me just give you this doing uh, by the way I'm playing on PS4 this is there's not gonna be too many mods of course because it's PS4 but uh, the only mod the only mod I have right now is the bomber jackets um, that are compatible with a lot of clothing here by Andrew Seek X, so same thing with uh, Maxent Battle Coat here. So, uh, looking pretty nice. You, they did a great job with the mod, so. Um, but yeah, uh, just give me a skinny of why I'm doing this, uh, because I, like I said, I was going to live stream my main walk through a Fallout 4 however I had a lot of issues when that happened I might have some issues with that this time around so um, I'm gonna try not to stream too long I think that's probably what the issues are with that but um, the reason why I was streaming and wanted to stream Fallout 4 was because I was gonna stream my progress up until I get to Far Harbor because I've beaten this game already um, pretty much all the way uh, even though, of course, there are a ton of quests, that, you know, like miscellaneous quests and stuff. But I, pretty much everything I wanted to get out of the way, I got out of the way with this game the first time I played it last year. And then I wanted to replay Far Harbor. So, um, yeah, because that was my favorite DLC. And uh, it's getting close to fall, so I, uh, I really like that DLC. It has a spooky vibe to it. So, unfortunately, I did without realizing start a ton of the first quest for the DLC basically what happens is you go you go to the uh, detective agency in Diamond City uh, and Nick Valentine's there and um, you get a case about the uh, the uh, what's their name is the Nakomo resident and um, their daughter's missing, of course, and you, I'm sure a lot of you know the story by now. Uh, but uh, you start to investigate the house, and you find some hollow tapes, and you notice that she is. She went to a place called Far Harbor because she got in contact with some synths, and she is confused about her identity and if she's really human or if she's a synth. So um, now you gotta go and try to get her. Uh, and then there's this huge conspiracy. It's not to spoil anything. We have two house cats I might shoot. Of course not, but, uh, I'm gonna save that crit meter for a good time. But anyway, um, I think it is essential to have Nick on it with you throughout the whole, your whole time throughout Far Harbor, at least throughout the main story for the DLC. Um, since it's a big detective case. Um, so... Of course, you can bring other companions because you can also gain a companion there. There's a new companion. I think it's Longfellow. Uh, we'll look at that to, into that in a second. Um, but yeah, I, I did skip a bunch, unfortunately, when it came to the beginning of the um, the beginning of the quest here for the actual quest of Far Harbor. So we're just gonna start. Um, just gonna go ahead and start and also I might take this jacket off if, you, if it's this jacket's messing with anyone's immersion since it's not in the vanilla game sorry I like it but I'll probably wear some normal clothes from the from the game later but uh let's go ahead and go to Far Harbor
And I'm pretty sure that Far Harbor is based off the real life Bar Harbor in Maine. So, um, which is cool, I guess. Like I said, super spooky. Probably should have brought a set of power armor with me, even though there's there is power armor on this island, though. Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the whole town. And that means strangers are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. At least we know she made it this far. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Careful on the hull, stranger. Don't fall off. If you do, we might not be able to rescue you in time. Yeah, this whole town is just cool. The rest of the island is a little ugly just because it's surrounded by green. And get shit done. The creatures in this DLC are really cool too. The, these gulpers. Um, Rad roaches, come on. Shit on the road. Oh, he is gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah, F fucking fuck. Holy shit. Ooh, that's not great. Oh, he got fucked. I didn't think I would do it. Purple. Uh-oh. 
poor bastards. She go there you are. Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits out have taken the whole island from my people. For your help when we needed it, you deserve this. You've lost the whole island? Oh, the fog's been here forever. There are good years when it recedes and the island's almost normal. Then there are times when it spreads all over. And people have to cling to any patch of land free of the fog. For the past, oh, eight years or so, it's been getting as bad as it's ever been. Now, Far Harbor's one of the only places left that's safe. What's the fog? Where to begin? The fog's radioactive, right? But there are pockets of it, the deep fog that are hard fallers far worse further inland. If you manage to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. Time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the Rat Eaters came, the fog was under control. They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. The fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know, as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, has proof. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But, uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. <sighs> Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. All right, well, there you go. And you guys saw earlier, uh, the internet might cut out, unfortunately. So, before we get, before we do anything, fully stopped. I'm going to change clothes. Clothes. Because I need a all the charisma I can get right now to have at least some pretty good deals on stuff. I f um, I s when I downloaded the DLC, I got this uh, lever action rifle. There's a legendary one right here. The, the what is this? The enraging advanced one. And I'm trying to see what it does. Uh, critical hits cause targets to frenzy. So. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. Let's see what you have. Of course. I thought Brooks was always cool. This is gonna be expensive. Here we go. Let's see. Uh. I don't need that much. I don't have any weapons for that. I 
and go from this. Can always use some We're good on five point fifty seven. And I don't think I need anything else. Maybe some uh shotgun shells. Made sure I I made sure I saved up enough so I can get some some stuff over here. I'll go ahead and buy some harpoons. They're not very expensive. I don't remember exactly what all kind of weapons. There's the meat hooks. The harpoon gun is cool. It's heavy though, so I might just wait till I find a legendary one. Um, there's the pull hooks. You also have, of course, just the scoped version of the lever action rifle. Um, there's a very small version of it as well. I don't remember exactly what it is. It's not like it's like modded to have a small bit. Or might actually, I might be wrong, but um, I just remember having two different types of uh, being able to find two different types of uh, of the lever action guns that were, look different enough. So. But, uh, just look and see what else there is. I know there's a ton of fisherman outfits. Maybe one of these overalls will work with the, uh, the outfit as well. You know the, the, what is it, the... I'm trying to think. It's that damn, uh, it's that damn jacket. So, green fisherman overalls. Gray fisherman overalls. So yeah, you see, right now it's just me buying a whole ton, ton of stuff I don't really need, but uh, I won't be needing that. Oh, uh, eventually I gotta find marine armor. That's gonna be awesome. So. Honestly, I don't think there's much else I need right now. Uh, let's go talk to Mariner, I guess. Well, actually, family's all gone. Nothing's keeping her here no more. You're the mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich, but they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sicked some feral ghouls on him. 
island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Petey. In the deep fog, there are things out there. Um, let's get some light over here. What time is it in the game? Oh, jeez. It's real dark. It's like 6 in the morning. I want to take a look at some clothes real quick, see if the... Oh wow, they don't even work with it. That's... I bought these for nothing, cool. Let's try... Fisherman's overalls. These probably won't work with it either, nope. So not all clothing works with this uh, this mod with the uh, what the heck just taking a quick look if nothing works with it in the next minute then I'm probably not gonna yeah, I don't think actually any of these clothes that I was going to try are, are going to work. I guess the regular flannel shirt and jeans will have to do. So, there we go. That hat might look kind of silly. I can't really tell. It's just not great lighting in this area. Hmm. I'll just humor whoever's inside here and follow this one. Oh, I'm sure that, yeah, you can have a place in a settlement, but I wish there was a place actually in the town of Far Harbor that you can call your own, like your own little house or your own little room. I know you just buy a room at the inn here. Trying to have a conversation here. Shut your mouths, open your damned ears. So the fogs are coming for us all. And I can't see any better way of greeting it than to have another round. On the how. Yeah! Woo! Time to party! Here's some Mitch! Mitch! Mainlander, today's your lucky day. Free beer for ya. Ha <laughs> ha! You have anything a bit stronger? Pushing your luck, are ya? Ha! <laughs> I like it. Take this. Top shelf all around. So, drink up! If you stay here over long and the fog will claim ya. Might as well meet her with a belly full of fire, eh? Let's see what you have on tap. Let's get you liquored up then. Ha! Annoying ass bastard. Maybe I'll take some beer just for the charisma sake. I don't think I need anything else. There's a whole long fellow shit. I want to add him later. Over here. Mariner says the fog's alive. Mariner. The hull took a battering. To be sure. But she wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. And the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, besides Captain Avery. A pleasure to meet you. Likewise. I hope the island doesn't kill you quick. Or slow, for that matter. 
I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Cove Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get... She sounds familiar. Can't put my finger on who that is. Now we go talk to old Longfellow. This shit really is not bad. A mainlander. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Not yours. I'm not here to pick a fight. You just don't understand. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms, or we take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. Show me what you got. Make it fast. Let's see. Oh, he's got the admiral friend. That's what I was thinking of. Huh. There's nothing that this guy really has that I want. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, Jesus. That's a ton. Oh, God. That's so much. Let's just go ahead and make it a good hundred. Come on. There we go. And uh, 50 cal. It's about all I need, I guess. Now let's go talk to old Longfellow here. Captain Avery said you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Yeah. I've done a whole lot more for a whole lot less. Clever with words, are you? I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, rad X and the like. And then the real work can begin. Let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. This voice actor's kind of cringy. Ah, drown your worries and cheat. Don't like the service. There's the door. <clears throat> How do you go? Oh, he's probably way up there. Yeah, where the hell are you? So we came with a little long fellow, but he's not around. Where the hell was he? 
front, dock and back. A bait shop. It's a bait shop. The fog's poison. On account of the children of Adam. Oh, who gives a shit? That's right, the trappers. And oh, get some bitch. That's right, you. Let's see. Damn. The ache. I'll take that coastal armor, thank you. That's. They have some cool clothes in the new, in this DLC. They're just all super heavy. Take that from your ass. Where do they go? Oh, yes. My guy, like, you could be, like, stupidly OP in this game with McCready's, uh... I have McCready's perk. Uh, I have, of course, I have Nick's perk. I don't have Paladin Dance's perk yet. That's the next one I wanted to get. Uh, Preston's perk. And, um... Yeah. There's also a ton of these... Normal perks that are just like stupidly OP. Like Rifleman. It's a very basic one. Um, Demolitions Expert's pretty good. Uh, really any of the gun ones. Um, let's see what else. Bloody Mass is also pretty OP. Literally, I'm supposed to go with old Longfellow, and uh, he's not around. So cool. Which means I don't even know if I'll be able to find him as a companion later. I never really had Longfellow as a companion, though. I really didn't care that much. Oh, shit. There, no wonder. There he fucking is. There you go. Longfellow, you're a fucking idiot. And that's for y'all. Sorry, wolf. Ooh, that had to be bad. Don't stray too far. Link, come on, let's go. Has all manner of nasties. Yeah, it's not as great as I thought it was when I first played it. I like Skyrim a whole lot more, even though Skyrim has a, a bunch of issues too. Just look at this. This frame rate drops so much. We're literally just walking backward to Far Harbor, dude. Come on. Hey there. Deep fog has all For fuck's sake. See Don't stray too far. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this. And look at this! Oh my God, Nick, just get the fuck out of his way, seriously. We grow everything extra meat on the island. Still got a ways to go. Stop stopping all the time, Jesus Christ! Well, how fucking hard is it to get this show on the fucking? Crawl. Well then, we stick to the deep fog. Unless we steer clear. Never know. It's a good thing I went ahead and upgraded this damn thing as much as I could.
we literally just went back and forth. Oh, I'm so not excited to do the the damn basically Minecraft thing when uh, you're inside Dima's mind. That takes forever. Young lad, no iron, no meat. Old island was covered in fog. Fog eventually rolled back. People resettled, but they got comfortable. Started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. Someone or something else. Holy fuck. Get that bitch. Here we go. Oh shit. Come on, don't miss. Fuck yeah. Fucking fucking ass my hurts. Here we go. Is there anything I can use? I don't think so. I know this one's gonna be right over there. Do I want to worry about him right now? I even can't even see him, so I don't really think it's that big of a deal. Does the fog affect your perception in that? If so, that's kind of cool. A lot of the shadow stuff, uh, shadowed armor in this game is just cool. I already feel like I'm gonna run out of ammo soon for this gun. Do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Sounds like none of my business. Lucky for you. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You. I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that subvert the will of Adam. Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move. Eh. Yeah. Really don't like Children of Adam. I don't know anyone who's played this game who do, honestly. I'm sure people have tried Children of Adam characters um, just to try them. But I just can't. I don't like them. There's nothing cool about them. These fusion cores, fuck yeah.
lady has already been watching us for a good spell. If you want to talk with them, just go inside. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. Maybe later. All right. But I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. Whiskey's running low. Better find some more, and soon. It's time to go talk to you know who. You know, you know who. Fuck, let's just do this real quick, damn it. Where do I put my stuff today? I remember I needed to use, I need to get my armor up. Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. I came here looking for Kasumi Nakano. Really? I'm impressed. Few would brave the kind of journey you've had for the sake of someone else. Kasumi is here. She's safe and unharmed, and you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a sin? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one sin with that kind of face and mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? I've never seen you before in my life. Please. If you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. All right, Dima. We'll humor you. Keep talking. This all started over a century ago, when we were first created. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. We'll talk later. 
This is a lot to take in. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could indulge me with an answer. She's human, and she has a family waiting for her. But imagine what it means if you're wrong. If Kasumi is a sin, then she doesn't have a family. She never had one. Think about how she must feel. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? I'm a human being, not a synth. Are you sure? I don't mean to question you, but what's the first memory you have? I remember being in my house the day the bombs fell. We ran to the vault. We were frozen. I was the only survivor. No memories before then? Just a single day, and then waking up alone? We so easily accept what's presented to us as the truth, don't we? Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that we will accept you, no matter what you decide you are. Spare me the lecture. Fine, but Acadia is still open to you. Feel free to walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Kasumi is usually working down below, whenever you wish to see her. Did you need anything else before you go? You should know, the Institute has been destroyed. What? It's... over? No more courser hunts? No more slavery, but that also means the technology to make the synths is lost. Our origins have been buried. Not to mention the loss of human life. Sorry. I'm not going to judge the actions of someone who's wiped out a great evil. You have our gratitude. Is there anything else you need? I should get going. Of course. Perhaps we were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. You worry too much. Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. Jeez. Dima's such a bullshitter. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. I certainly hope that you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting for. 
It's not really any of my concern. No, I suppose it's not. Still, though, we could use the help. Dima, especially. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog condensers. So many things to keep track of. Right. Right? Wouldn't want him blown a fuse. Huh? Uh, no. Not really. If there's anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here, for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the boat wrecked southwest of here, so... Does this sound like something you could handle? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? The island is dangerous, after all. But I really could use the spare parts. No so, bullshitter. Will you find them? Sure thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. I distinctly remember a lot of these people here are just liars just pathological liars I assume you're not planning on staying long gosh after a welcome this warm who wouldn't want to just stay forever this place isn't for you Acadia is only as secure as we make it we take unnecessary risks we get careless, and things can go bad. Fast. If there's a synth who needs a safe place, then we take them in. Let them live as a synth, without fear. You don't fit that description. That makes you an unnecessary risk. It's nothing personal. Minimizing our contact with outsiders is just practical. You can relax. I'm not a threat. Just don't cause any trouble. Asshole. There your ass is. Circuitry is complete. Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I'm a detective. I was hired to find you. You... You're a what? You came all this way... for me? You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad, uh, people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. Kasumi, listen to me. You're not a synth. Believe me, I've thought about that. How you can never really know. But it just answers so many questions. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? Kasumi, I think you're just confused. Everyone has doubts about who they are sometimes. It's part of life. I... I really wish that was true. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. If something's going on, then I can help. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things. Track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret here on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. All right, I'm listening. Okay. Where to begin? You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? 
Well, Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them. And, you know, I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom of this. If Dima is putting on an act, we need to know. I'll help if I can. But that's not much to go on. I know. I've been working on that, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. I'll figure this out. Just stay here. Okay. Good luck, and come back as soon as you've found anything. From one case to a new one. It's never easy for us, is it? Jesus, look at all those optional bullshits. Anyway, um, just one last quick look around. And... Shut up, Nick. And uh, I think I'm going to just take a break for today on this area. And I'll continue maybe sometime I'm recording this the same day. Maybe the day after. I don't know yet. But uh, yeah, so that's the start. Not a lot happened. Uh, as soon as you get off the island, there's that big scene. And then you follow Longfellow. All that stuff happens, and, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of great stuff about this DLC in this area, and, um, one of my favorite side quests in the whole game is here, so, um, hopefully we'll get to that soon. Uh, that's about it for today, and, uh, I'll do some more of this stream some other time. Thanks for watching, hopefully the stream didn't give you guys any issues or anything, so, um, about it thanks for watching and i will uh we'll see you guys later